Hey guys, welcome to another week of the program. We're going to put it in the books and move forward into week three already. So I wanted to pass along some of the objectives that I'd like you to accomplish for this upcoming week. The first is I want you to complete all of your assignments. So once again, whenever I do your coaching reports, I want to see that every single one of those icons have been completed. The second is to make sure that you get at least 10,000 or more steps each and every day and try to do it as many days as possible each and every week. The third is to eat every three to four hours. And you know, we talked about it a lot over these last week and a half, and it's going to be one of the biggest things that impact your overall success in this program and for the rest of your life. So whether or not you're trying to lose weight, maintain weight, or just become healthier, it's imperative that regardless of that goal that you consume something with balance of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins every three to four hours. And then this week, you had your lesson on breakfast. We're going to start working on making optimal health breakfasts on most days. And you can go into your meal planner feature. I have four perfectly healthy breakfasts. Um, well, I, I shouldn't say perfectly healthy. I would say three of the four are perfectly healthy. And then as I've mentioned, the egg, the, the egg McMuffin sandwich that I showed you is one that you wouldn't want to necessarily have every single day for breakfast because of the sodium content. It just makes getting and meeting your sodium requirements really tough whenever you start off with more than 500 milligrams of sodium. But there's no way around it. You know, think about it. Bread has a high amount of sodium. Egg whites, natural sodium. Um, the cheese has some natural sodium added it as well. So, you know, you combine all those things and all of a sudden you're over 500 milligrams and it's going to make getting and meeting your sodium requirements the rest of the, the, the day pretty tough whenever you eat that regularly. So there's nothing wrong with that. That is an optimal health breakfast, but you need to watch your sodium like I mentioned several times in, the, in some of those videos. So that's what I want you guys to do. Next week I'm going to start looking deeply into each one of your breakfasts and help you better combine food so that on most days you're having an optimal health breakfast. It's imperative that you start each day like that. Okay, it's the weekend. Be good. I don't know how many of you are Thunder in the Valley people, but you know I've walked through there before and the fried Twinkies and donuts and things like that just aren't going to get it done and you're liable not to have a good way and if you're going to be you know subjected to some of that stuff. And if you are, you know, be mindful of it. You're going to have to cut calories at some other point or exercise like a fiend to burn those off because I want to see some good weigh again this week for those of you wanting to lose weight. Okay, so there you go. You guys have an awesome weekend. Be good because they're going to kill you. Please weigh in and post your weights early Monday so I can get your reports out as soon as possible this week. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you. Bye-bye.